yeah, okay, maybe I've been blogging about nothing but in the flesh for the past month. Yeah, maybe it's all I think about all day. Fine, I might be just a little bit obsessed with it. So obviously, yes, I'm gonna make a video about in the flesh. I can practically hear about 99% of you already telling me to shut up, and to you I say, no. And to the 1% of you who are with me, I say, hello. Okay, but really, I am so in love with In the Flesh, and I am not even the least bit sorry. So you can imagine my horror, disgust, anger, sadness, at the fact that this show got cancelled. Like, really? Of all the shows that could be cancelled, you choose to take this masterpiece and take that away. Why? Well, I don't know why. Maybe it's because God hates me. Maybe it's because I was kind of a jerk in elementary school, and this is just karma. Maybe it was funding issues. I guess we'll never know the truth. But I will tell you one thing that I do know. This show deserves to come back, and here's why. Um, okay, I should probably explain what this show is about in case some of you don't know. The premise of In the Flesh is that people who died in the year 2009 come back as zombies, and humans fight off these zombies and kill them until a cure is discovered. And now these undead people, referred to as partially deceased syndrome sufferers, or PDS sufferers, are brought back into society and medicated. For some reason, this does not go as smoothly as everyone planned. One of the great things about this show is that PDS sufferers can basically represent any group you want them to. Um, I see a lot of parallels between mentally ill and queer people, but I know there are a lot of other connections that can be made. And the good thing is that oppression is shown really well in this show. PDS sufferers are oppressed left and right. Laws are put into place to make them basically less than people. No, not basically. They are literally seen as less than people under the law. Plus, the town the show is set in is incredibly prejudiced against PDS sufferers. They're called rotters, a hurtful slur. They're attacked constantly and harassed by everyone on the streets. They are literally killed for who they are. But not only does In the Flesh represent oppression, it also represents a lot of social issues. First of all, there are a ton of awesome female characters. They are well written, and they are diverse, and it's great. Second of all, the main character, whose name is Kieran, is bisexual, uh, or pansexual, or queer, or not labeled. It isn't entirely clear what he identifies as, but the creator of the show has said that he is not gay and he is not straight. Kieran is shown being in two separate same-gender relationships, so this isn't a secret. But the good thing about it is he isn't defined by his identity. His sexuality is only a small part of his character. Also, mental illness is heavily portrayed in the show. Kieran himself struggles with depression, anxiety, and suicide. His sister, Jem, struggles with PTSD. Another character named Simon struggles with depression and drug addiction. It's rampant throughout the whole show. And it's portrayed well, too. It isn't romanticized at all. These mental illnesses are shown how they are in real life, and that's messy, sad, and painful. And the themes of this show, oh my god. One of the biggest themes for In the Flesh is being able to accept yourself for who you are. Kieran struggles with this a lot. He covers up the fact that he is a PDS sufferer, so much so that he can't even look himself in the mirror. Kieran coming to terms with his identity and who he is and being comfortable with that is a big part of the show. Not to mention the theme of extremism, which is basically shown through the views of PDS sufferers. On one end of the spectrum, you've got the humans who think that PDS sufferers are savage and evil and deserve death. But on the other end, you've got PDS sufferers themselves, who believe they are this new, greater species, who are better than humans, who, in their opinion, deserve death. Both ends are portrayed as extreme and harmful, and it shows that blindly following a cause, no matter what it is, can be harmful to society. Why can't the undead and the living just get along? Why can't the queer and straight communities just get along? Why can't different cultures get along? So many connections to the real world. So yeah, In the Flesh is an amazing show, and I love it, and it absolutely deserves to come back for a third season. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it, and I'll even put links in the description below where you can watch it. I'll also just casually put some links down there to some petitions to Netflix and Amazon to pick up In the Flesh for a third season. You could sign those if you wanted to. It would only take a couple of seconds. Second of all, the main character, whose name is Kieran, is canonically bisexual, or pansexual, or queer, or not labeled. That isn't completely queer. That isn't completely queer. Yes, it is. 